All right, let's talk about this great thing that they did on the Bleacher Report. They're doing the $15 all-time team challenge. I love this. Uh, we're going to throw up the graphic right now. So you have 15 bucks to make your all-time starting lineup. And they, to they took players mostly sort of uh, last, last 30 years, basically. It's mostly last 20 years, but about 30 years. And uh, with 15 bucks, you get to select your players and, uh, and put together your all-time team. Steve-O, I'm, I'm gonna let you go first here because I have a very controversial choice here. Okay. So let's get, we'll, we'll hold off on the controversy. All right. So you have 15 bucks, I'm gonna write it down just to make sure you're All not right, cheating on me. My first pick is uh, Michael Jordan for $5. Jordan for five, okay. And I'm taking LeBron James for five. Wow. So I've already spent $10. You've already spent two thirds yeah. of your budget. So for center, I'm taking Hakeem for one. And I'm taking Kevin Garnett for one as well. Wow, all right. So now I'm at $12. I have $3 to spend. I'm gonna go off the board and take Gary Payton for $0. Can I do that? <laughs> Why do you not wanna spend all your money? No, I wanna save this the $3. This is the thrifty TYT attitude. Yeah. First of all, I'm not taking Walt Frazier or okay. Oscar Robertson because I've never seen them play, Okay. ever. I've not seen one minute of, the, of them playing, so I can't pick them in good conscience because- You do know that Oscar Robertson averaged a triple-double for I an entire you, season. I hear you, I hear you, but okay, for all the old timers who love these old, old players, yeah. please grow up, okay? <laughs> I mean, move on. Okay, can you, you, know, you give you me just, someone on the board? All right, fine. Just for the purposes. For, for $3, okay, well, I really want Magic, but I can't get him for- Can't have Magic. I'll, I'll take Isaiah or Stockton, either one's fine. I'll take- uh, who? You got three bucks? Uh, they're, so they're they're ranking Isaiah above stock. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Isaiah. Isaiah. Um, although maybe he and Jordan would fight all the time. Um, I'm gonna go with Stockton. I, I don't know I'm about this team. I don't know about this team. I don't all like right, this I balance want, with want, Jordan and LeBron. I want you to tell me what what you think my strategy was in going with this team. Uh, I mean, you're going very top heavy. To go Jordan and LeBron, you're going, these guys will, every other game, someone's going to lead the team and win. I think Hakeem's a great pick, which gets to, to my thing at one, which makes no sense. Uh, and then you have another clutch player in Isaiah. So, I, no, the no, theory, uh, I don't know, you're trying to outscore everybody, I guess. No, 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 that's not my, 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 my uh, strategy is the total opposite. I'm taking the best defensive players. You got Jordan and LeBron guarding the wings. That's it. The wings are shut down. Okay. You got Hakeem and, and Garnett, two outstanding uh, defenders. Yeah. That's it. You're done. No one's scoring on that team. And they're all perimeter shooters. So Hakeem can shoot the outside shot. Garnett loves an 18 to 20 foot outside shot. And then you have LeBron and, and Jordan slashing to the basket. Forget it. It shows you how good these players are that I thought you were trying it's, to outscore everybody yeah. and you're actually it's trying to outdefend It's a monster them. team that no one can score on. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, you have to have a balance of guys who are you know, top dog players um, like Jordan and guys who are comfortable deferring. So even though uh, LeBron is, is the best player, he's comfortable deferring when someone else wants the ball. So he'll get the ball to Jordan. Hakeem and Garnett, those guys are okay deferring also, especially right. Garnett. So you don't think yeah. Stockton's that's, that's a why, better pick on this team, though, because you already right. have Jordan and LeBron? That, that's, that's right. That's why I changed it from Isaiah to Stockton at the last minute. I don't yeah. know if you heard me. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Okay, and, so and you're going Stockton. Yeah, because yeah, Isaiah's going to he's gonna want to dominate the ball. Okay. So that's another reason why I didn't take Magic, who I love, my boyhood hero, because with LeBron there, Magic is a little bit redundant. Yeah. Uh, they're similar size. They play similar styles. Um, so that team, I'm telling you, I love that team. All right, and the I reason like... why I took Gary Payton is because he's an, he's an incredible defender also. So you got five possibly all-time you know, best defenders who can play together uh, with clear roles of who does what. I like how you had to go Coach off. Coach of the year. I like how you had to go off the chart. Yeah. You couldn't even accept the people they gave you. All right, let's throw By it up way, again. The fourth person could be me or you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that team is awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you how this is really done. You right. obviously, obviously take Magic at point guard for five. <laughs> obviously, I'm going to leave shooting guard for a second. Then you obviously take Larry Bird. Now I've given you two of the three greatest clutch players ever. Now you're at nine. Then... I'm gonna take a winner, just a guy that can play with everybody and win, a Tim Duncan for three. Uh, then, see the Elijah one, I'm with you on the Elijah one. Elijah one should not be one. Yeah. Uh, it's way too low. He was an incredible scorer, two-time MVP, uh, knows how to win, and, and a, obviously a great defender. And, uh, and then with my remaining two dollars, I'm gonna go with Clyde at the shooting guard, which obviously Clyde is not uh, MJ, of course, but by the time you have Magic and Bird, and then a winner in Duncan, and everything we just said about Hakeem, you don't need uh, 
You don't my, need Jordan on this team. My team will kick the shit out of your team. You just don't need Jordan on this team. My team will what? kick the Magic crap. and Bird. You left Magic and Bird. Okay, first of all, did you see the, the, the 1991 finals when it was a Bulls versus the Lakers? Yes, you're taking an old Magic Johnson. Okay, he you're was comparing older. an old you're Magic right, to right. Jordan just it but it wasn't barely Jordan. in his It prime. wasn't Jordan. It was Pippen. Pippen totally changed that playoff series. Okay. In the first game, uh, they had, I forget who was guarding Magic, but in, but in the second game, Phil Jackson put Pippen on Magic, and after that, the, the, the entire Lakers office right, came that, that running was, to Right, but that's an older Magic. Yeah. All right, so, so, you know, we're taking everyone at their prime, but you put LeBron on Magic, Magic's going to have a really, really tough time. So your, your yeah. team's a little better defensively. Throw that up one more time. I, so you, I'll give you the, the defense. I just think you put Magic and Bird uh, on the same team. Now you have all the clutchness. You have all the calmness. Now you just need Clyde to do some scoring. Duncan, but, Duncan to get in there and do some rebounding. I How hear you. And you're now? right about all that kind of stuff. But that's why I have Jordan, who is the most competitive, hyper-competitive guy, to be the clear top dog. With, with Magic and Bird on the team, you know, they're shared duties, and that's a little bit of an issue. So on my team, you got you got Jordan at the very top, clear CEO, right? Yeah. And then you and then you got uh, LeBron James, the COO. He does he does it, you know he does a little bit of everything. Right. And then you have very defined roles for everyone. And the other thing about my team is that they're all knockdown three um, uh, free throw shooters. That's why Shaq can't be on anyone's team. His free throw shooting is terrible. Right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to settle this with uh, PS4. Right, we can make these teams. Well, I want we, you guys to comment below. Make, oh, we got uh, yeah. Let, well, obviously, let us know in the comments. Yeah, but Jason, but Jason jump in. First of all, Steve, you're 100 percent right on Michael Jordan. How you can't? He's the greatest player of all time, in my opinion. And you don't even need him. You, <laughs> you don't. You Magic and Bird. You do don't even need, need him. him. You that's don't insane. even need him. But very simply, you put Magic and Michael on a team. That's just terrifying. I mean, Michael Magic. Uh, so the, neither the, one of us did that. The di the dimes every day. Magic brings it up, dishes it to uh, MJ, pff, guaranteed, automatic, like Paul George was uh, two nights ago. Uh, you throw in uh, Tim Duncan at the power forward position because I think he's the best power forward ever. I, I mean, like that, I like I'd, I'd take, I'd take Duncan over Malone and Barkley. And then for a dollar each, sure, Pippen and Elijah on, done. Game yeah, over. I mean, look, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I was watching the, I was looking at the comments. Uh, Bleacher Report, and almost every there were like ten thousand comments, yeah. and almost everybody had different combinations. Yeah, look, I mean, the reality is that you could, you know, just create a random generator, and any five guys from this right. list would be an amazing team. Yeah, it really would be. I wonder how. But I think mine is still the best. What percentage of people left Jordan <laughs> off? That's the bold statement I'm willing to make. I know you want to be a controversial figure. I get. <laughs> it. <laughs>